securitycameraking.com in this video I will show you step by step how to connect your PTZ LX 550 3x uh, camera to your DVR first when you open the box uh, for your camera you will find uh, the camera itself with a pigtail that is already attached to it um, the pigtail comes with the power connector it comes with the video connector and it comes with the PTZ control wires the cause for the PTZ control wires uh, for this particular camera is purple for the positive and uh, white for the negative so remember that the purple is the positive and the white one is the negative then uh, what you need to do is on the back of the DVR you will find this blocks on uh, the EL models and the ultimate models it will come like this and on the mini models the, the, the elite minis the green blocks will be on the back of the DVR as well but it's gonna be one on top of each other it's not gonna come like on a row like this so you're gonna take and you're gonna look for the label that says A and B and that's basically the connector RS485 where you're gonna plug in your um, your cables uh, for your PTZ camera then what you need to do is you have to take on this case on this DVR I took this block and I connect this uh, cable which I'm gonna extend where my camera is gonna be at, uh, mounted all the way to the back of my DVR uh, the cables that you can use to extend the wires could be alarm cable or cat5 cable um, on the alarm cable you will find two pairs of wires on the cat5 cable you will find four pairs of wires and basically if you're gonna use one PTZ you have to decide which colors are you gonna choose for either of the cables that you're using um, because the, the one end of the, the, the cable has to match the colors that you choose for your positive and your negative so on my case I'm using the alarm cable and I'm choosing the red for my positive and the black one for my negative and that's going to be connected one end on the back of the DVR and the other end is going to be connected on the with the camera itself so um, as I said the on the back of the DVR you will see a label A and B for your RS485 the A the letter A will be your positive the letter B will be your negative so remember that again the letter A is positive and the letter B it's negative for all of our DVRs so then uh, you take the block off and connect your positive and negative as I said again uh, my positive will be the red one and the black one will be my negative and, and plug it in here then on your PTZ camera you're gonna connect the purple with your red one uh, you can use beanies or you can just simply twist them and then put electrical tape on top of that for demonstration purposes I'm not gonna put anything so make sure I'll make sure that nothing is touching the cable so I don't cause any damage to the camera but basically that's what you have to do you have to attach those cables it's very simple uh, once you have it plugged in and everything is configured it's very simple to use so that's pretty much it I mean you will probably made it better with uh, beanies or electrical tape uh, once that is connected that's pretty much is to it and then you connect your video to one of the ports on the back of a DVR you gotta remember what port you're using for this PTZ because then you have to configure the DVR to uh, match the configurations or the or finish the setup of the PTZ and eventually I will be making a second video showing that then you put your power and it's pretty much done okay I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing